Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and help you guys out in Solo Cell Found. And actually, even if you're not playing Solo Cell Found, uh, and basically explain... Oopsies, didn't mean to do that. And basically how to uh, generate the maps via delving. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that you can get a ton of maps out of delve, but maybe you're unaware of exactly how to get them. So I'm going to go ahead and help you out in some simple steps here. So first thing to note is there, if you look at like all of these little little nodes, or we'll call them clusters, um, there is an actual like, it looks kind of like a sextant uh, one. I don't have one right now. It looks like a journeyman sextant. Um, if you discover that, you're, you're going to find uh, maps behind it there, or normally. But you can also find maps out of things like the Rune Chamber and the Abyssal Chamber um, via the Abyssal City and the Vol Outpost. Now, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much, as you can see here, I have a shit ton of discovered. Usually you won't really find this many together. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and run it and show you guys how to basically run the abyssal chamber slash city um, it's really easy the layout is identical every single time you do it um, and you can find a ton of maps now some of the key things to doing this is being around the item level that you want if you're in a delve that's level 50 you're not gonna get any maps because maps don't start till like i don't know what 68 so this is currently level 80 uh, i think i found up to tier 4 13 maps from it? I, I want to say maybe tier 13. Um, but for sure, like, the map drops have been super, super wonderful, super, super great. Um, and hopefully this video doesn't scuff me over, so let's go ahead and try to find some maps. Now, you don't actually really have to kill any mobs to do this method either. Um, of course, killing mobs will give you a chance at finding maps. For sure, you can find maps off of the monsters. I found them myself. Uh, they are pretty rare, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot more common to just basically, like, just go through and and just. Uh, okay, oh, this is Never mind. It's basically a lot easier to just go through and just click the boxes. If you don't get maps, go to the next chamber. Don't mind me doing some side delving here. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I think this is a side area. This is not a side area. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's jewelry. Doesn't matter. Okay. So once you get to the area, it's going to look like this. Now, if you played previously in the league, this was bugged, and sometimes you just click it and it just didn't do anything. Thankfully, that has been fixed, so you're just going to click it. It's gonna shit all your loot out that you had before. Uh, I'm just gonna go back. Oh, Dragon. Cool. I'm just gonna go back and simply get some more flasks. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, but, you know, Mr. Pox Kappa, this doesn't really help me because I can't find any abyssal chambers or blah, 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 blah. They're impossible to find. They're actually pretty easy to find. Uh, I know that, you know, a lot of people are gonna complain about RNG, but. I've had a, now this character's level 94 in this league, I have a level 93, and I played hardcore in 93 this league. All you really gotta do is get to a decent level of depth, or delve, whatever you want, whether it be, you know, 150 or 250, and just delve left or delve right. Like, don't get distracted, just go left or right, and you're gonna run into an abyssal city eventually, I promise you. So, after we have all of that, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to our mine, and it's really simple. So... The layout is literally like always the same. You can either go out one way or another. Uh, when you stand in the middle, it's going to create this little light surface. I don't really want to stand still because I'm scared to die as an evasion character, but basically you stand still on this thing and the rooms get more lit. So I'm just going to pick one way. I'm going to walk here. That's a charts one. We're going to pass this. There's another one here. And then here's the big chest. Actually, this only had two, but click and click. So that's garbage. I'm going to skip that. Again, the mobs are pretty good to kill if you want to kill them. There's a park map. We're just gonna skip through. So this side has the big one. So this is gonna have like a bunch over here. So charts is maps, there's lockbox, jewelry, and these are random, so. Oh, 
there's another park map. So I found two tier 13 maps already. There's a lot of connections. Let's pick these up. And again, I, I, it's up to you at this point. If you would like to kill the mobs for some map drops or from XP, you are more than are welcome to just kill literally whatever you'd like. But it's you know it's pretty random whether or not you're gonna get any maps off of just killing the monsters. You also can get instant give pretty fucking easily here. So, again, just by doing that, that was two T13s. Now, sometimes, unfortunately, you will not find any for some, and sometimes you'll find five tier 13s in one simple Abyssal City. Um, so, one other thing that I want to help you guys out with, this is something that has nothing to do with Delve, but I figured I'll just offer some advice really fast, is Zana 7 is actually really important for SSF if you can manage to get Zana 7. And the reason why Zana 7 is so important is because you get the ability to shape um, tier 1 to 10 maps. It does cost 6 chaos, but let's be real, in SSF you don't use your chaos on anything except for rerolling maps. You could be crafting gear, but I mean you got fossils for that, so you don't really, I mean fucking resonators out the ass, but you don't really need to do that. Um, so by doing Zana tier 14, or you know just shaping them upward, the reason why that's so good is, say um, Plateau right here is shaped right now, it's tier 9, but you know it doesn't really drop anything because it's tier 9. If you tier 14 it right away, you have a better chance of getting a map drop because you have additional mobs inside your map, they're shaped mobs. Vice versa, if you have Elder, Elder more specifically can have like Elder Portals, and if you guys are familiar with Elder Portals, really crazy loot drops on Elder Portals, so definitely focus on stuff like that. And then of course, don't be scared to use your Sextants, um, you've got them for a reason. But anyway, that's pretty much about it, just wanted to give you guys a quick video of some helpful tips on sustaining your maps. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, remember if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.